Hello my marvellous sausages, here's a nice quick guide for you to find all the tier 3 deep sites that are in the quagmire or the giggity as I like to call it. A couple of things you need to know about these tier 3 deep site doodads. Old Finchy boy over here, if you go and see him, you need to make sure you've unlocked this node here so you can actually interact with the deep site tier 3s. That's level 13 there so you need to have that first of all. Now there's also a little bit of confusion about how many times you can open up these tier 3 chests because there was a glitch with some of them in the miasma that you could go up with them reset sort of pop back out of the area and pop back in and do it again and that way you get loads of uh, XP or reputation points for Finch but they managed to stop that on certain chests but these babies in the giggity have looted the chest two or three times the same chest two or three times in one day so it just seems that once they appear you can just go and loot them again sometimes I'd return to orbit and come back and then I'd be able to reloot them again I did this one here you're just in front of Finch four times in a row so you can do them more than once absolutely definitely and one other thing they don't seem to appear all at once in this particular area in the giggity in the quagmire it seems only one spawns at a time okay so the first one we're going to have a look at is right next to Finch really it's kind of down the floor in this little lake bed area activate the deep site and then you've got this tree with lots of braziers around it you just got to shoot them in the correct order to get them to light now it's a bit of a trial and error with these really but generally you can do them pretty quickly it didn't take me that long to do this one here like i believe that's it on the last one yes there we go chest done so that's number one very close to where finch is now the second one we're going to look at is here the kind of in the middle upper north area of the quagmire there there you can see my green guardian arrow not too far from the lost sector now this one it's up on a like a hillock and it's braziers again but they're these round metal looking doodads you can see sprinkled around the place and it's exactly the same thing you've got to shoot them in a particular order and you can get them all to ignite now what you can find sometimes is that you fail but well, if you fail don't worry you can go and restart it again on the deep site but remember the deep sites don't hang around for a very long time I'd have said they're in one space for about five minutes or so so you need to get a bit of a move on to get that one done Right then, on to number three. Now, this one isn't far away from the one we've just done. It's just down in this cave area here. You'll find the deep side just hovering around. Now, it's one of those babies where so once you press it, you're going to shoot the runes. Uh, not in any particular order. you are just going to find the buggers because they do change from time to time. And you're going to find them spread all around, well, where the uh, deep site was, really. But it's not too bad. I think there's five all together. And once you get the fifth one, there it is. There's the last one there. That should then pop our clogs is and we'll get our lovely chests is oh there we are that's nice that's deep sight number three in the giggity here we are, number four, and uh, you can see here it's in the sort of the southern area of the quagmire. We're looking around the path that's a bit of a posh castle, if you know what I mean. So to give you a rough idea of where this one is, or an exact idea rather, you want to come up through the main gate, and then you want to look over to your right, and you can see that there's like an outbuilding-y type thing here. So we want to head towards this bit here, and then you will see the deep site turning up around around here. Now this is a bit of a different one. You activate it like this, look. And then what happens is, you look, you've got a little mirror type thing that's appeared over there. Get stuffed, you echo shites. So all you've got to do is go through the mirror like this, and then you activate another deep site when you're here. And then it's just a matter of jumping up lovely platforms. And we're going to get a big bollock to throw at something, which is nice. So just over here and over here. And there we go. We've got a nice little void charge. We pick up the void charge, drop back down, go through the mirror again. And then we'll see, uh, look, there it is. The chest is covered by shield. Bang it at the shield and bang. Shield down, chest is open. Nice and easy, I like that. So it's a bit different, yes. Now this final one is in the start of the posh area as well. I'll just show you exactly how to get to it. You just pop on your sparrow. This is just from the spawn point. You can see there's always a wizard running around here. And then down in the area here, this is where you will see the deep site. Now this is another timed one, but you've got to shoot the runes again. And they can be secreted around, all hidden away like buggers as usual. So you just got to make sure you hunt about to find all 
all five. They can be on the pillars, on the front of the buildings. They can also be inside these buildings as well. You can see one here that I'm shooting. But also you can find that there's some right at the top there and also down the back as well. So be careful and have a good old look. And then that's all five in the quagmire area. So you can, as long as you've got an idea of where the locations are, but they do, like I say, take some time to spawn. I wouldn't go around waiting for one in particular. Just grab the ones that you can see, but at least you now know where they are. So there we go, that's all five chests in the Giggity. I've also got a video for the ones in the Miasma and in Witch's Echo, and I shall be bringing some out this week for the Alluring Curtain, the Fluorescent Canal, and the Apothecary as well. And don't forget, give me a like and a subscribe if you did enjoy the vid, and leave me a comment and let me know if you're being able to farm these Tier 3 deep sites in any particular area, because it's very handy to know. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage, hoot.